I don't know if it's surprising. <laughs> it's all happened so fast that it's like you kind of just got to take it with how it goes. Um, I think after my junior season where we reached the national championship, I was kind of entering my senior year and I was like, oh, like, how do we top that? Like, we we just, you know, we lost a couple couple players out of our starting five and it's like things seemed about as perfect as they probably could have got for us to, at the University of Iowa. And then, you know, we just came back to work and things got even better. Um, so I feel like for me, it's not like a surprise. I feel like I just continue to put my head down and keep working and have a lot of belief in the people around me, but, um, I don't know. I mean, I still, I don't feel famous. Like I don't feel like a celebrity. So, um, that's not the way like I approach my life and I approach people in my life. Like I still go to the grocery store. Like I still go to go and buy candles at the store with like the fall spice candles. Like I still like do all that stuff. Like I go and pick up food. Like people don't do that for me. Like that's not how I approach my life. Like I approach it the same exact way. And I feel like that kind of goes back to the question prior. I feel like that's why people can also connect with me. Like, cause I feel like I'm real and authentic to them and um, try to be as normal as possible. Like I never try to seem superior to somebody. I just try to be somebody that loves playing basketball and loves bringing people joy and, um, I feel very fortunate to do that. So, um, at times it surprises me, but I feel like I don't even have a moment to breathe and really understand what's going on at times. So I feel like it goes, kind of goes back to that after the season is over a lot of reflection and, um, really taking in every moment that I've been able to, to cherish over the last year. And, um, it's all been very special for myself, every high and every single low. Thanks.